Hello everyone. I am excited. Okay, it is almost nine. So I'm starting on the early side for me, which is great. I'm sitting here on the couch with my my buddy Hank. He's 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 not getting much reading done, but um so I am just chilling out on the couch in my spooky house alone because my uh, roommate is away for the evening. I am going to finish Spookathon tonight. I am going to read Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, which is of course a classic. I don't really know much about it other than to say that it's often required reading in school. My brother had to read it. I think he liked, hated it, like liked slash hated it. Um, it is about a hundred pages long. Most of the reviews on Goodreads are like people saying like, okay, fine, but it's so boring. Like people saying it's only a hundred pages and yet it feels like a thousand. Um, and then of course some people who love it. And then some people who point out some um, uncomfortable uh, racial uh, situations that I am, hmm, we'll find out about that. I, I wanna read it, I wanna get it read and um, I feel like it might be kind of a spooky ghost story for me. I could be so wrong about that. We're gonna find out, um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna dive into that one first, and then I will have just uh, scary stories three uh, to read last, and that's about the same length. I think they're all about 128 pages long, but they're all illustrated, and so that'll be a really easy read. So I'm gonna get started. I'm sitting here on the couch, obviously, with all of my spooky regalia and my my spooky pumpkins and my candle and my boo pillow. I've got a cup of coffee and I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna read because I only have three hours. Okay, uh, here I go. Heart of Darkness begins. Okay, so it's, let's see, what time is it? It's 10.30. So, and it says I have like two hours left, so I may technically not make it, but whatever. Um, so this is interesting. Heart of Darkness is dark. The description of the indigenous people in this man's journey, very, very distasteful. Um, I've highlighted some things, um, but it sets the scene and the time and I'm willing to continue reading and give this a shot. It's disturbing. There's lots of bad things. Um, but I like, I think I like how it's written. The first time I tried to read this, I didn't realize it was gonna be someone telling a story. And as you know, I hate that, but now I'm prepared for it. So it's not bothering me. Um, and I'm curious to see what the event is that's going to take place. Um, no doubt it will be racially charged and disturbing and we'll see how I feel about it. I'm already 27% done. So I don't know if it's really gonna take me two more hours, but it says that it will, so. And is the Kindle ever wrong? Yes, so we shall see. I might need to reset my reading time thing on here. Sometimes it gets off, so. Anyway, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting read so far. I've had two cups of coffee because I cannot fall asleep. So, right, right? Philip suddenly had some feelings about that. He's like, sleep? I wanna sleep. You can. You're not reading. You're not reading. Okay, that's um, me being silly with my dog. Okay, uh, back to reading. Okay, so I have finished Heart of Darkness. It was a very interesting read. I, I'm learning as I take part in discussions about books on Goodreads and on Booktube and on Instagram more and more that there's there's a great power in admitting ignorance and I I am not going to pretend that I completely understand what I just read yet I think there's a lot there's a reason that this book has stood the test of time um, it's very short it's a novella and I just haven't wrapped my brain around it yet I I, I didn't hate it like I enjoy aspects of it um, I love the topic, this idea of exploring um, the innate darkness of man um, and this question of 
you know, what happens if you separate yourself from the light that you're used to or separate yourself from so-called civilization and venture into the darkness, you know, are you really there to conquer it? Are you there to civilize it? Again, that word. Are you there to organize and enlighten and fix and create and all that? Or are you there to um, to reconnect with your inner dark desires and urges as an animal, as a human, as a being? And will you be swallowed by the darkness? And is the darkness always within us anyway? And, and yada, yada, yada. It's, it's a very, very interesting and very creepy conversation. Um... And it's a, it's a very interesting book. And I kind of, it, it's a, it was a hard read. It, um, but I was able to get through it. I did have to go back a few times and reread things. There's just one of those, it's one of those books where they like, you know, he likes to come at his description of an emotion or a concept from like 19 different angles and there end up being so many different versions of metaphors describing the same thing that you start to I started to feel confused as to wait what, what are we talking about and then I'd have to go back and remember what we were what was actually happening in that moment and it's just really fascinating because there's a narrator telling you the story that he is hearing from this guy on this boat who was telling us the story about him being on another boat with someone who then at certain points is telling him a story and then he's quoting people and so the like nesting dolls of narrative is interesting and confusing but it kind of doesn't matter you just let it let it wash over you but even having read it and having some thoughts about it and then sort of writing down some notes on my feelings about it and then reading what someone else wrote about it I instantly was like oh yeah wait oh right wow and I realized there's just, it's just like a dense work and there's a lot to think about and I haven't wrapped my brain around it yet, so. And it's part of the setting and it's part of the story and, and the time, but there are so many absolutely, you know, inexcusable descriptions of, of dark-skinned people in this book and the n-word all over the place and calling them savages and um and you know these are people who live in the congo and so from the perspective of the narrator they are animals and subhuman and there's there's some real ugly ugliness there but that's kind of the this book stock and trade is human ugliness the comparing of the darkness of you know the wilderness in the in the Congo and and the indigenous people there contrasted with the innate darkness and evil of the white man who becomes who makes himself into a god and manipulates them um, or tries to is sort of the point of the book so it's a, just a complicated book I am I guess mature enough to say that I don't I don't completely understand Heart of Darkness yet, but I'm glad I read it. I don't know what that was. There's a ghost in my house. Oh no. Apparently when I'm scared of ghosts, I become British. I'm glad I read it and I'm gonna probably need to read it again someday, but not anytime soon. Uh, I'm very excited that that was book six of seven in my Spookathon and I have now read all, of, I have completed all of the challenges for the readathon. So although I still have one book left, I have finished Spookathon, which is fantastic. Now it's like two in the morning and I just have to read Scary Stories 3, so I'm gonna read it now. Because I had three cups of coffee, ah, which is so healthy. So I'm gonna read it as sort of like a celebration victory lap because I did it. I actually completed a readathon. How fantastic is that? Now I didn't actually finish Heart of Darkness before midnight, but I think of readathons in terms of like nights, not like midnight to midnight so i will get back to this after i have uh i don't know one a little in a little bit in a little while while i'm reading uh scary stories three or maybe after i'm done i had to take a break and get some fresh air i like the sensation of reading something that i don't completely understand but that i know there's more to grasp it's cool I I can't say I loved that book, but I can say that if I read it again, I'll 
I'll learn something more. My head is swimming with thoughts about it. I'm about to treat myself to some ice cream, a glass of wine, and uh, a lovely foray into the third volume of Scary Stories. It's been a very interesting week. This has been a more intense readathon for me than the others I've done. And I can honestly say this is enough reading for seven days. I need to have a little less structure to my reading now <laughs> for a minute. Not that I don't have plans for the last couple weeks of the month, because I do. And now I'm cold. I'm gonna go inside. Well, all right, I just finished. Scary Stories 3. Uh, I really enjoy all of these illustrations and these stories. This was my least favorite of the three um, collections, but nonetheless, it is Scary Stories Still in the Dark, and I did enjoy it. Um, there was one or two stories in this that I really liked. My favorites are still... I mean, Harold is in here, and I like Harold. Uh, Clickety Clink is still, I think, my favorite story. The one about the the bride and the trunk. And I think those are both from the second book. The one about the dog that was actually a rat is gross. The one about the black dog, I enjoy. This has the one about the girl with the spiders growing out of her face. Which is unacceptable. Um, yeah. So I enjoyed some of these stories, and it was a quick read, and it was easy. And um, I'm glad to have this collection in my house, and I can, you know, pick them up whenever I want to revisit them. Um, and I'm just glad that I rediscovered these. And I'm very tired, and I can't believe I read seven books in seven days. So... Spookathon is done, and there's going to be a wrap-up coming soon, and uh, yeah, so thank you. If you actually watched all of these, that's amazing. I'm trying to decide if I believe in doing the daily vlogs um, or in doing one big vlog. Let me know what you think. I feel like the daily vlogs are fun, uh, but at the same time... It means I'm posting a lot of the same kind of thing day after day, so it's interesting. Um, anyway, so that's it for Spookathon for me for this year until the wrap-up in a couple days, probably. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, suffering through all of this with me. And I am going to go to sleep now. So I will say goodnight, and until next time, I will be here in the dark reading. Good night, guys.